New tonight at 6, the Erie County District Attorney explains why a judge who shoved a police officer was not charged with a crime. Good evening, I'm Mary Ellis Demler. And hello again, I'm Scott Levin. The judge in question here is State Supreme Court Judge Mark Grisanti, appointed to the bench by Governor Cuomo. Now, Grisanti shoved a city officer after police responded to a fight involving the judge, his wife, and a few neighbors. DA John Flynn says the behavior of everyone involved was childish, but not criminal. Investigative reporter Steve Brown has the story. This was, quite frankly, nothing more than four 50-year-olds and 60-year-olds acting like children. That's the and Erie County District Attorney's assessment of this, a caught-on-camera North Buffalo neighbor dispute that boiled over earlier this year. A participant in the fight, State Supreme Court Judge Mark Grisanti. No criminal charges were filed, even after police body cam footage shows Grisanti pushing a city officer. Did you review the body cam footage? The body cam footage I personally didn't review, but my deputy DA reviewed it. Okay. And it clearly showed him pushing the officer. All right. Put his hands on him. Yeah. Now he usually get you arrested. Yeah, well, the the officers, for whatever reason, they decided not to file charges. Did they know who he was? At some point they learned who he was. Initially they didn't know who he was, but at some point they learned that he was a judge. But does that play a factor in the officer saying, I don't want to press charges because that's a judge. I might have cases in front of this person. You know, the officers used their discretion here. They decided that, you know, no one got pushed hard. No one was knocked down. Uh, no one got hurt. They used their own discretion to decide not to press charges. But don't you, doesn't your office have the option of filing charges anyway? We do, but we never, we, we, we would never override a victim in that kind of case, though. So, I mean, it's a, at most, it's a, it's a harassment charge. It's not even a crime. Which Flynn points out is merely a violation level offense. Here's the other thing that I saw in the video. It sounded like the judge was threatening the police officers. Here's how that unfolded. Get, get the uh, video from the... When the judge's wife failed to comply with an officer's order to stop yelling, she was detained, pushed to the ground, and handcuffed. That's when Grisanti stepped in, shoved the officer, and then had this exchange with another cop. You better go off your wife. Dude. She's going to cuffs. She's going to cuffs. Do not Listen, fight my daughter officer. and my son are both Buffalo police officers. officers. I know, I know. And you I'm would, calling you right would, now. Dude. Would not want them put, putting your hand, somebody putting their hand. Dude. You are not going to fight a cop. Hey, you arrest my wife you're gonna be sorry that sounds like a threat i can't read what the judge meant by that or what his mindset was he said a lot of things on camera that i found troubling um you know anytime anytime anyone who is in a position of authority who spouts off and says you know i know the mayor i know the deputy commissioner i know this person i know that person that that that's not good either to flynn what the judge said was clearly improper but not criminal I guess for most folks, they take a look at it and go, he's a big shot, he got off. Big shots get off, connected people get special favors, even in the supposedly blind justice system. I can clearly tell those folks, there's no doubt that the optic is there that a big shot got off, okay? There's, there's no doubt about that. that. That optic is there, okay? But again, I, I have no reason to believe that there was any mindset in the officer's mind at the time and, and, and afterward that I'm going to let this guy go be, because he's a big shot, because he's a judge, because I may need a favor from him in the future. Right? I, I have no proof of that at all. Flynn says the real consequence for Grisanti may be from the state's Judicial Conduct Commission, which has the power to punish and even remove judges. The commission has asked for the entire file on the incident, which would include the video. In Buffalo, Steve Brown, Channel 2 News.